so today we will look uh, at a very important topic which is very frequently asked in university exams as a short note as a short answer question or as difference okay so that is the topic is the bacterial cell wall bacterial cell wall now we have seen earlier that the bacteria are of two types: in the gram positive bacteria other is the gram negative bacteria now there's a uh, and we also know that the bacteria have uh, cell walls outside their cell membrane so the composition of that cell wall uh, is a very unique structure to the bacteria and uh, the gram positive and the gram negative both of them possess different kinds of uh, composing structures in their cell wall so that's why there is certain differences in the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria as well and the gram negative bacteria so we'll start with the definition of the bacterial cell wall the definition of the bacterial cell wall is is that uh, it is a tough rigid structure surrounding the bacterial cell membrane or the bacterium itself the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria are different as i have talked earlier only so whenever you will be asked to write the gram positive the short note over the gram cell wall of gram positive bacteria then you have to write this point and whenever you are asked to write the uh, Mm, short note on the gram cell wall of gram negative bacteria then you have to write this portion and whenever the difference is asked then you have to write both of them as i have written here so by making it in a single paper i have simplified uh, so that it can be remembered and can be answered in different types of questions from a single paper itself so let's come to the gram positive bacteria cell wall so the gram positive bacteria cell wall has different layers one is the peptidoglycan layer then we have the tachoic acid and uh, yeah that is there are two structures in the gram positive cell wall that is peptidoglycan layer and the tachoic acid layer but in the gram negative bacteria we have the peptidoglycan layer and outer membrane and the lipopolysaccharide okay so let's uh, see the composing structures or the layers of the cell wall one by one so first looking at the peptidoglycan layer i will talk uh, both of them simultaneously so that you can uh, in a comparison way so that you can remember it in a comparison way in your mind and will be written in your mind for a longer duration when you read it in a comparing way okay so first is the peptidoglycan layer see here the peptidoglycan layer is present in gram positive as well as gram negative bacteria cell wall so the difference is that in gram positive it is thicker about 60 16 to 80 nanometer while in gram negative bacteria it is thinner only 2 nanometer now it is a heteropolysaccharide okay heteropolysaccharide and it has alternating n acetyl muramic acid that is nam and n acetyl glucosamine okay so nam and nag nam nag nam nag okay this is the structure uh, of the heteropolysaccharide again this will be so this portion is this portion is multiplied n number of times to produce the uh, to produce the heteropolysaccharide so just uh, the heteropolysaccharide is just the repetition of this uh, disaccharide which is nam bonding nag so the disaccharide which is made by the n acetyl muramic acid and the n acetyl glucosamine this uh, the disaccharide is uh, repeated multiple number of times to produce this heteropolysaccharide which is forming the peptidoglycan layer of the both the gram positive and the gram negative bacterial cell wall so this composing structure nam and nag is also same in case of gram negative bacteria as well okay now uh, uh the suppose these two are the this is one heteropolysaccharide this is another heteropolysaccharide then this is third heteropolysaccharide then what happens there uh, there must have been some nam uh, uh nam portion then nag portion then nam portion then again nag portion similarly it will be repeated multiple number of times so the nam portion which is there okay so the nam portion which is there like this is nam portion to this there is attachment of a tetrapeptide side chain so a chain is attached to this 
which uh, which has four uh, four amino acids which are uh, remembered as a g l a agla okay agla agla mean, means uh, l alanine d g for glutamine and l for lysine and a for alanine now how will you remember the isomeric form so isomeric form can be remembered by it ld ld okay ld 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 so just write agla alanine glutamine lysine alanine and then before them write the ld ld so that will make you the tetrapeptide side chain which is getting attached to nam portion of the disaccharide of the heteropolysaccharide okay now this is also same in case of gram negative bacteria there is also this uh, tetrapeptide attached to the uh, nam uh, nam saccharide okay uh, attached to the nam portion of the heteropolysaccharide but the difference is that there is not l in the third position in the third position there is mesodiamino pimelic acid mesodiamino pimelic acid so this is sometimes asked as mcq also that at which position or which amino acid is present at the third position of the tetrapeptide side chain which is uh, uh, getting attached to the nam portion of the heteropolysaccharide in the bacterial cell wall so you must remember the other uh, amino acids are same as that of the gram positive bacterial cell wall but the third amino acid of the tetrapeptide side chain is changed to mesodiamino pimelic acid okay so this is the difference between the tetrapeptide side chain you have to write there then the third difference in the peptidoglycan layer is that the heteropolysaccharide chains are cross linked via the pentaglycine chain so let's come to the first image itself so suppose this was the so here this was the our tetrapeptide side chain similarly here is one nam portion then there is attachment of a tetrapeptide side chain so these two tetrapeptide side chains are attached by a pentaglycine bridge this is a pentaglycine bridge okay these two are attached by a pentaglycine bridge okay these two are attached by the pentaglycine bridge pentaglycine bridge means there will be uh, pentaglycine means bridge means there will be five glycine amino acids attached to a single strand and those single strand will extend from l lysine to d alanine suppose we have uh, a uh, on one nam portion we have agla agla will be at, in this way and on the second uh, heteropolysaccharide chain again there will be tetrapeptide side chain agla so how is that attachment the attachment is the pentaglycine bridge is attached between the l lysine to d alanine so this is the pentaglycine bridge okay this is attached between the l lysine and d alanine between uh, that is the pentaglycine bridge which and this attachment of the tetrapeptide side chain and this cross link by the pentaglycine chain is uh, providing the uh, strength to the bacterial cell wall and helps in uh, helps in the helps in the growth of the bacteria helps in the protection of the bacteria from the uh, outer environment from the acidic alkali environment and all so that cross linking is very important so the cross linking is in between the l lysine and d alanine of the tetrapeptide side chains and that uh, uh, bridge or the cross link is formed by a pentaglycine chain this pentaglycine bridge is absent in case of the gram negative bacteria this is again very important point in case of gram negative bacterial cell wall that the pentaglycine bridge is absent this may be asked in mcqs so this is all uh, all the difference between the peptidoglycan layer of the gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacterial cell wall now coming to the second difference second difference uh, or the second point is that in case of gram positive bacteria we have ticoic acid present ticoic acid is nothing but the polymer of ribitol okay and a la uh, it is ticoic acid is present in a large amount in the gram positive bacterial cell wall but this ticoic acid is not present in case of the gram negative bacteria instead of that there is presence of a outer membrane so outside the thin peptidoglycan layer 
there is presence of a outer membrane that means there is a bacterial cell membrane then there is a thin peptidoglycan layer which is called as the bacterial uh, there is a thin uh, peptidoglycan layer and outside that peptidoglycan layer again there is a membrane that is called as the outer membrane so this whole portion is called as the gram negative bacterial cell wall so gram negative bacterial cell wall contains uh, consists of that uh, thin peptidoglycan layer as well as that outer membrane and plus the lipopolysaccharide which is which is uh, getting attached to the outer membrane so uh, coming to the description of the outer membrane it is a thin peptidoglycan uh, it is present uh, outside the thin peptidoglycan layer and is firmly attached to the peptidoglycan layer via the brown's lipoprotein again this is a very important point that it is attached to the peptidoglycan layer by brown's lipoprotein these all are absent in case of the gram positive bacteria okay this outer membrane is absent in case of gram positive bacteria and ticoic acid is also absent in case of gram negative bacteria now coming to the third point the third point is of the lipopolysaccharide so the lipopolysaccharide layer is present in case of the gram negative bacteria but it is absent in case of the gram positive bacteria this is very important point and this lipopolysaccharide uh, that has got three parts one is the lipid a then core polysaccharide and o antigen so lipid a is endotoxic and o antigen uh, is helpful in the sero grouping you will see i uh, i have tell, told uh, i mean i have explained this how this o antigen helps in sero grouping in the enteric fever chapter okay so that is the uh, important points about the lipopolysaccharide in the back, gram negative bacterial cell wall so now coming to the diagram of the bacterial cell walls you must remember the diagram of the bacterial cell wall either it is a difference or the short note asked in the exam you must have to make the diagram because diagrams will fetch you good marks so coming to first to the gram positive bacterial cell wall so see here there is this cell membrane of the bacteria gram positive bacteria then this is the peptidoglycan layer okay this is the peptidoglycan layer there and these all are the these all are the heteropolysaccharide chains and the structures in between these are the pe pentaglycine bridges okay these all all these 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 all are the pentaglycine bridges okay and uh, in the pent uh, in this peptidoglycan layer the space in between the cell membrane and the pe peptidoglycan layer is called the periplasmic space and also there is uh, in the peptidoglycan layer there is embedded lipoticoic acid see this is the lipoticoic acid and and this cell wall ticoic acid so ticoic acid again are of two types one is the lipoticoic acid which is attached to the cell membrane here and the cell wall ticoic acid which are directly originally from the or directly uh, present in the peptidoglycan layer only they are not uh, reaching up to the cell membrane then coming to the gram negative bacterial cell wall that is uh, a little bit more complex than the gram positive bacterial cell wall so see here this is the cell wall of the gram positive uh, gram negative bacterial cell wall and this is a thin peptidoglycan layer there and uh, these these structures these black structures these all black structures are the brown's lipoprotein through which the outer cell membrane this is the outer cell membrane uh, or the outer membrane is attached to the peptidoglycan layer thin peptidoglycan layer so the outer membrane is attached to the thin peptidoglycan layer by these brown's lipoproteins okay brown's lipoproteins then we have the lipopolysaccharide layer these all are the lipopolysaccharides which, which are attached to the outer cell wall so see here in the lipopolysaccharide we have got lipid a which is embedded in the outer membrane then we have a core uh, which is uh, just uh, attached to the uh, lipid a and then we have this tail like o antigen so o antigen core lipid these are the three structures which are present in the lipopolysaccharide okay so this is all about the cell wall of the gram positive bacteria and the gram negative bacteria these uh, two are the very important uh, topics for the exam point of view 
and both short notes short answer questions as well as the differences between the gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria are very common in the university exams